Well, China, since you're so intrigued uh, by my unmanned submarines design and the Flexomatic ping pong paddle from uh, Forrest Gump uh, and those latest emails that I just sent you, Bridge of Spy style. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting your tweets there, so I know you're ping-ponging back like, wait a minute, Russia and I actually share our missile ballistics uh, upgrades with each other so that we are we know what each other has. Well, that I guess that's what you would do if you were in the business of war, right? I'm not in the business of war. I am in the business of preventing uh, my own annihilation. And I'm in the business of collecting intelligence, uh, bridge of spy style, and then also insurance adjusting, bridge of spy style, so that we don't ever have to go to war with each other. Now, when you have an entity that is the same entity who developed uh, biological warfare labs all over the world and their excuse for doing that is, well, we can't let them outdo us if uh, they come up with a biological weapon. Well, we've got to come up with a biological weapon too. And it's kind of like a nuclear standoff is what it is. But when you know what I know, you know that all of those labs are combined and that was just an excuse so that they could uh, build the labs in the first place. And you know that, China, just as well as I do. Now, since you are so intrigued by my submarine design, you might be asking yourself, how are you going to park 3,000 submarines all over the world, sink them to the bottom of the ocean, when they don't have any comms and use those subs to surface so that they can uh, uh, launch their 60,000 missiles that take out every nuclear silo and biological weapons lab on the planet in a less than five minutes in a si simultaneous, si simultaneous carpet bombing. How did you solve that problem? Well, it's pretty simple, China. Uh, they do have an antenna on the top for travel. And there's this another little spool antenna that comes up if they want to, you know, kind of float about halfway, about 200 meters down in the ocean. But we even took it farther than that, China, just so you know, <clears throat> and Russia. See, we developed these weapon systems while we were hacking your spy satellites and using artificial intelligence to upload a false feed of images to your own spy satellites so that when those images crossed your desk, you didn't realize that we were uh, that was a, a weapons depot that was building 3,000 submarines with hypersonic missiles that are unmanned submarines. And that's how you maintain a level of secrecy in 21st century is if it's an unmanned uh, submarine, well, you got less people to keep quiet and then nobody realizes what you're up to. Right? And that's what Lockheed Martin did in an unacknowledged special access program where the United States government wasn't even aware of what they were up to, except for a handful of people who made sure they got the black budget to build these submarines. And in that uh, model that was used there, they built these submarines. And to solve the problem where you've got an ocean, uh, you've got a submarine sitting on the bottom of the ocean that doesn't have any manpower in it, and there's no comms to it because you don't have a radio that traverses through the water, what they did is if you have that submarine sitting at 3,000 feet or 2,000 or 500, it don't matter how deep it is, but it's on the bottom of the ocean and you're not going to find it, and there's 3,000 of them out there sprawled across the entire planet. They know where they're at. They know where they're sitting on the bottom of the ocean. And they have 3,000 pigeon drones that they will launch. They're very small. You're not going to catch them on radar. They'll launch them from a central hub. They'll fly out to the submarines where they know where they're located, they dive into the ocean and they emit a ping, a special ping. And that submarine sitting on the bottom of the ocean all day long just listening for that special ping. If that submarine hears that 
that comes off of that little drone that was fired uh, out of sight so that it could land in the ocean and traverse down towards the sub to signal to the submarine to surface and they all surface at the same time, pop their nose open and fire 60,000 uh, hypersonic missiles that can absolutely annihilate every military on the planet in less than five minutes, literally. That's what I built. That's what I built, okay? I'm letting you know right now. Flexomatic ping pong paddle. That is what we built in an unacknowledged special access program that will completely annihilate all of you at the drop of a hat. And that is how I solved the problem for not having communications to the unmanned subs. <coughs> so, now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? <laughs>